Hello and thank you very much for letting us do this interview. Um, I spent my last couple of evenings listening to your music, doing my breathing exercises, and it had a very peaceful, committed vibe. So I felt like, do you even feel emotions like anger or something like this? Sure, I do. You do? Sure, all kind of emotions are coming through. But it's not about not feeling them or, or, or being surprised that they are there. Yeah, it's about how do we go back to the balance. So uh, basically you're saying everything that's there, um, take it and work with it. It's fine to have it all. Yeah, that's cool. When you visit a place like this, where we are right now, Klingenmühle, if you just sit for a long time and do nothing, what thoughts and what emotion come to your mind and your body? You know, there was no really time to sit quietly and do nothing, you know, these days, because we are quite busy on the road. But um, when I come to places like this, definitely uh, there is a desire to stay longer in a place, you know, but um, we are where we are and what we are supposed to do. It's not about feeling peaceful in a beautiful place. It's about to carry in this everywhere we go. And that's a big challenge. Yeah? Mm. It's a challenge to carry this energy yeah, of this beautiful, peaceful place coming to the city. Are yeah. you like influenced by people around you that maybe are nervous or hectic? Or can you just like stay yourself? It's both. It's both. It's both. It's yeah. Because we are receiving all kinds of stuff from everybody. Yeah. You know, and uh, at times we don't even understand that this is this or that uh, emotion or state of being. Uh, is it mine? Did they just pick it up from somebody else? Mm -hmm. You know, it's quite, uh, quite a practice to, to really uh, see where, where is that coming from. Did it take a long time for you to learn this? Still learning. Still learning. Cool. But actually, I guess there was a point in time where you, f where you jumped on, the ra on, on this train, actually, where you felt like, oh, this is what I want to pay attention to, and this is how I want to live my life. Um, when was that and why? I wouldn't say that it was just this dramatical moment when I felt, oh, wow, I, I'm going to be paying attention now. It's just an uh, ongoing story, you know, that uh, certain elements are coming and we know that this is uh, the way to be, you know, and, and still we forget from time to time, yeah, to observe, to really feel, to really listen, yeah. And again, it's the same, like uh, losing the, the harmony. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's like, how fast can you go back to this, to observation, to feeling? Mm. This is what you told yesterday to the crowd, that it's um, the right time, the right place to connect to, to the thoughts and to thoughts that usually maybe even get pushed back or something. Did you ever get feedback from someone in the crowd who did take this opportunity at your concert to confront oneself with one of these intense thoughts? Well, people write in lots of things, of course, and sometimes they come after and share. As much, there are those that have no idea what they came to. <coughs> because uh, still there is a stereotype in the minds of many that what the concert is, what the music concert is. So people come for a certain quality they come for, and then all of a sudden there is a complete different experience mm -hmm. unfolding there. Yeah? So, uh, and still it's amazing to see those that unexpectedly came, yeah? and they accepted the journey, you know, because uh, it's quite difficult space, could be, to hear for uh, ongoing, dynamics of sound, I wouldn't call it just sound, because there are mm -hmm. lots of dynamics there, for an hour, sometimes two, sometimes three. Yeah, it could be quite challenging for many people. Yeah, but in that space, something is very vivid comes up on the surface. You know, some would need to do all kinds of practices to get to that space.
which we can reach through music quite fast. If you allow if to you be allow, touched, if, if you allow, allow to be touched. Yeah, because yeah. there are also um, moments when people just have to go, they cannot stay. It's also happening from time to time. This is meant mentally or, or geographically? We actually, it's, it's, uh, it's unknown w when it will happen in this room. You know, it could be Russia, it could be in Germany, it could be in different places, it could be in Austria, it could be different geographical points. It's mm -hmm. not about that. It's uh, an individual thing. And again, we never know what the people come for. You know, some, some of them come for a concert, some of them want to see some personality sitting on stage. You know, some they know what they come for, an experience. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, if somebody walks out, it's... Uh, it's not for me to, to judge, you know. It's beautiful. What is your favorite animal? <laughs> the, f the, the first thing comes up right now is human. <laughs> but uh, and maybe that's what it is, actually. Every kind of human? Well, human, human in a way, it is an animal which has a great potential to mm -hmm. become a, a great human, mm -hmm. you know. But still, for right now, we are exploring the human animalism mm. in, it, in its many kinds of forms. I think a lot of humans, they kind of want to separate themselves from animals by yeah. not following their inner instincts. Um, which kind of, I for me, is the biggest difference between animals and humans. That animals are just living their instincts and humans are thinking and judging and everything. I mean, we still have this, uh, some cultures and some individuals who, who already came here on to this planet with these qualities. Like what you describe, the animal qualities, you know? yeah, and the pure qualities. Be basically pure qualities of being true. Yeah, you that's know, true. When you see the wild animal, it's true, it's authentic. Yeah, it mm -hmm. doesn't have these concepts of uh, I do something and there would be somebody thinking about what am I doing. Yeah, it's you crazy. Know, or somebody would be judging my actions or saying what I had to say. Or, you know, it's pure truth. Yeah, mm -hmm. pure true being. Mm -hmm. When it's not domesticated yeah, by humans, true. Because that becomes something else. True. Also with some exceptions, of course, yeah, but um, it's uh, quite a tricky game. I don't know. Yeah, it's quite a tricky game. It's an interesting thought to think that um, it won't ever be possible for a human being to fully commit oneself to to these Just instincts, yeah, to the instincts. But it's not just the instincts, because that's what makes us also different from the animal kingdom. Yeah, that we are uh, we are given a little bit extra, yeah, a little true. a lot extra, and that's maybe the difference between the human animal and the great human, which we very rare see, mm -hmm. but we we have seen many come into this planet and showing the way, through yeah. centuries, through times, yeah, there were many coming like that, and then we place them in the form of God and we say, well, this is what God is, which is also quite a twisted. Yeah. Very distorted point of view. Yeah, it's a huge topic. If we yeah, want that's to talk a huge about topic. That's it would take yeah. us maybe a few days to talk about. Yeah, and we wouldn't. Weeks, we wouldn't. Lifetime. Find an end. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are some of your favorite human beings that maybe influenced you or your personality or your playing, whatever? Ah, there are great amounts. But you know, we cannot put anybody on the pedestal truly because we have no idea how this or that individual being. Because we see only fragment of greatness and we say, wow, this is the perfection. But we have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. It's true. And then it's it's quite easy to lose that pedestal when others see that being, you know, acting this or that way. Because we all can lose something. Even there are greatest mart masters we are talking about, you know, they have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. And it's not about to be that perfection all the time. It's again how fast mm. one can come back to this harmony. Yeah. It's interesting because I think 
people or even I didn't think about I didn't really think about it because everything if you are fascinated by someone you just know the these very tiny snippets mm. of what what this person said or did but you're right you you actually know nothing it, it's like yeah. a book you know you what what is your favorite book well wow, there are so many you know and uh, and it's not about reading every book and it's not about knowing every single person yeah, because sure. it's still an external uh, receptivity you know it's uh, get to know your own book get to know your own person yeah you know that's that's the purpose not about going around and being inspired the inspiration triggers something and that's wonderful but you still have to live with you every day sure you know? yeah but when you're inspired maybe watching other people or or maybe nature or watching different things being influenced by it it maybe helps you to unfold yourself that's or to find yourself yeah, yeah that's clear out. that's clear but then we cannot say this or that only individual there is so much yeah. sometimes it's just a rainfall could do that and sometimes it could be one quote of a person sure. or it could be particle of a film or it could be song or it could be uh, Med inside of the meditation when you sit with yourself so there is so many different ways to be inspired that's true yeah. what i want to do in the next few years is i would like to buy a hippie bus and travel around living as a street musician and i want to ask you if you have any recommendations of places to go or or experiences to make that would help me for my plans well the hippie bus is a good thing though uh, uh, when you get to cities, try to park it a little further away from the place where you play. Uh -huh. Because imagine that you come to the environment where the, the hippie bus is not every time understood. You know? oh. And uh, you're coming into different people's world, you know. And uh, playing the streets, it's a very different environment than, you know, than being in a stage, in a concert place where people come to see you because it's uh, unpredictable for many who, who walk by and then all of a the sudden there is something happening there. Mm -hmm. And also, in a way, you have to merge yourself into that place and yet still be yourself. That's hard. And, uh, and that's very hard, yeah. yeah, because that's merge of, of different worlds could be quite difficult, as for those walking by, as for you, especially for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's Because true. they're just passing through, and you're also kind of passing through, but you come with your thing to share, yeah. And uh, that that's could be challenging, but it's an amazing trip. So if you have more precise questions, yes, I could, I could give you more. Hmm. Like some, some, spec some exact places hmm. that you you'd recommend to go and play, maybe, or cities. There were many cities. Just I've been. Yeah, there are many mm -hmm. cities and many countries, but. Uh, the way I would do it is that I would feel I would feel first of all the calling to what place I'd like to go to, mm -hmm. and then I would arrive and then I wander around the place and then I would see wh where is that place I feel like a, a, my little living room. Where is that living room would be? Sometimes it would be near fountain, sometimes it would be uh, near nice stairs, or sometimes it would be a nice plaza or. You know, it's uh, it's the space that I would co-create with the space, with the city. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it it should be my space. You know, and that's an individual thing. You know, and then the more you do it, you you arrive somewhere, you already see it right away. Mm, that's that's cool. Happened to you, I guess. Mm, countless times, and there were also not correct places as well. But Where you it's, are it's not supposed important. to do it, but you feel like it's not like you're playing. not supposed to. You stretch. And then there are consequences of it. Or police come and they take your stuff, or they arrest you, or you cannot make any living, or you know, it's yeah. uh, all kinds of stories. That's, uh, in the end, these are good stories. Yeah, yeah, it's not about good, it's an experience which is uh, important to live. Yeah. You know? I've done it for a long time. Yeah. So, and then still, even I would do it now, it still would be fresh and new every time mm. because it's unpredictable. It's a huge difference to playing concerts. Sure. Sure. Um, did this happen to you? When they say you get arrested, police comes. It did. Many times. Many times. 
Wow. <laughs> but when when you look back now, you feel like I don't know. I I think I wouldn't it, change it. You wouldn't change it, right? No. Yeah. But did you have to spend time in prison for a long time? No, no. Really. Sometimes one night, uh, mostly one night, because I didn't do anything really. It was just yeah. some misunderstanding. Normally, you know, they would think that I would just play and continue playing um, while I was just trying to finish the song. You know, and they were thinking that I'm I'd, I'd been aggressive with them. There were many different situations. You know, there were people complain from the buildings, and police would come. They just have to do their job. Yeah. You know, yeah. if they are a little bit more balanced, that would be fine. But if they are a little bit more aggressive, aggressive that particular moment, you know, then it could escalate the situation. And then I don't know. My night in Amsterdam was fabulous. I arrived to this very nice, warm cell. Very clean, <laughs> nice food. <laughs> Great. There was even kind of like TV. Uh, you could order a movie. You know, so it was very nice. Beautiful. Coming from a very cold, rainy festival, it was just perfect for that day. You know, it's not like yeah. I need to repeat it every time, but it was okay. Yeah. So, are you allowed to play the guitar when you have to spend time in the cell? No, no. You're not allowed to. No, no, no. I don't know. For long term, maybe, but uh, that's not something I'm planning. So. Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting topic. <laughs> because yeah, because maybe many street musicians are confronted with doing things that is not actually harming people, but it's still considered being you know, illegal. You know, you you come to places, you have to come with respect. So if the sure. police come to you, you have to deal with them. You know, of course there could be misunderstandings. You know, but uh, and there is also could be this uh, certain uh, attitude of a musician who is on the mission and he's trying to break the system and this uh, rebellious spirit is also quite aggressive and when it comes in confrontation with the with the official system then it could be a problem so that's already up to you in what way you deliver that expression yeah know, but still coming with respect to to the system but also to other musicians you know because there is all kind of life going on some vendors, some sh shops, you know, so you have to be respectful, just the same way you don't come to somebody's house and bang your amplifier right away. You know? <laughs> I won't do that. No, I yeah. did. You yeah. did? Yeah, sure. But that's what I say, it's an experience, you have to try all kind of things. True. Which in the end makes you who you are today. Probably. Probably, yeah. Could you imagine your life taking very different direction than it did now, ending up as a musician. Could be. Could be. And what would you, can you think, what can you think of would be another purpose of yours or another way your life could have gone? I think it would be one, same one thing, the self-expression. Yeah. It would be still that, in what form, I don't know. But it, there could be countless of things. That's true. Um, some last questions are, when you listen to music, it, it's different from playing music by yourself, right? Mm. And um, what are the instruments or the kind of sounds that, that trigger something? Nature. It's nature. Nature. Sounds of nature. Ocean. Probably the most of it. Rain. But I like the symphonical as well, symphonic orchestrations as well mm -hmm. very much. A lot of strings. Lots of strings when they are uh, in harmony. Yeah, mm. uh, I guess you have a pretty good ear for harmony. Well, I don't know. It's, uh, we all d have different kind of ear. There is the physical ear and there is another one, you know, that we just know. Yeah. What w might work for you wouldn't work for me, or vice versa, or for many other people as well. You know? mm. so, Probably nature is the nearest to it. Yeah, as also, also this. Silence. Very nice. Mm. Yeah, I was impressed yesterday at your concert where everybody was quiet. It was an, an uncommon situation because usually when it's quiet at a concert, people are like, is going to happen next. They're a little bit, they don't know what to feel, 
But yesterday everybody knew that this is a nice kind of silence that you created and everybody created. Mm. Yeah. So this this was a cool experience to see this. Really. Thank you very much Thanks. for this amazing interview. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just keep going. Thank you. Thank you.